guys, happy Friday. It's a little bit after 10.30. This is gonna be a really strange vlog for me and you um, because Parker's actually out of town. So he left this morning around eight. All right, do you wanna disturb us? Do you wanna say hello? Come here, come in. Eee, pulga, man, it's a pulguita. Sophie girls in my lap. Um, so he left this morning at eight. He will be out of town until Sunday afternoon. He's going on a guy's trip. It's like a motorcycle thing they do um, about once a year, sometimes more. Um, it was so, it was, okay. Since there's nobody home this weekend, it's just gonna be us, we can girl talk. So um, yeah, you can be a part of it, of course, always. It was so funny because he was like wrapping things up, getting ready to go this morning, and I was so jealous. I'm admitting that. Mern was jealous too. You guys hear that? Oh, Top was jealous. Too. I really was, that's like the best way I can describe it. And I don't have any qualms when I'm expressing myself to you guys, you know that, I don't. I. I don't believe you should filter your feelings, you know? Just because you feel one way one at one moment doesn't mean you can't feel a different way another moment. So I feel like when I talk about feelings in some of these vlogs, they get taken a little too intensely, you know? And it's like, you're saying about three minutes of my life right now, so it's not that serious. So anyway, um, I was a little jealous. And I was jealous, I wasn't mad at Parker. I was just jealous because I'm like, man, I'll never, ever, ever be able to experience that kind of freedom, you know, where he just calls up his co-parent and he's like, hey, take the girls a couple extra days because I'm going to be out of town and he can leave for two or three days and like his house chores won't pile up, his laundry won't pile up, he doesn't have to go grocery shopping, you know, he doesn't have four dogs he has to take care of, he doesn't have to feed Wesley at exactly 12 hours and give him two medications for the rest of ever. <laughs> And it's like, man, it just really put um, my life, like my individual life, it put it into perspective. And I was like, man, I'm so salty. <laughs> I am the first to say I love my life. And don't look at my dry cuticles. I'm actually in the middle of a manicure, so I still have to top coat and cuticle oil my nails. But um, let me see. I was doing... Glitter Days 90% Angel, that's the color that I put on right now, and so you could see the dryness around my fingers. I use 100% acetone around um, the skin around my nails, my nails and everything, just to clean it up. And then I do base coat, nail polish, and top coat, and I don't get any chips. So like, I basically like suffocate the skin around my nails. <laughs> it's really healthy, you guys. <laughs> it basically kind of put everything into perspective for me, where it was like, this is this is my life this is this is my life like i am so looking forward to having a weekend with the house to myself even though i already cleaned the stove i finished laundry i went and i picked up the boys room upstairs i cleaned my studio i answered some work emails so it's like even on days where i'm looking forward to rest there's still a million things that have to be done Don't you understand that I'm in the middle of an emo monologue right now? Can I, can I have a minute? Like, I'm using this pillow as an armrest and you're interrupting me. Can you go sit somewhere else, please? Can you, can you go sit somewhere else? What do you think? Can you do that for mommy? I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm gonna take that as a very hard no. Not happening. I'm the first one to tell you guys, I love my life. I love the children God gave me. I love the animals he sent me. I love the job that I currently have. I love my fiance to death and his family. Um, and I wouldn't change anything, but that does not take away from the fact that it is exhausting. Sometimes it's not fair. And sometimes I just want to scream. <laughs> so I was so jealous this morning, you guys, because I was like, that will literally never be me, ever. Like, I know I can't call up my co-parent and be like, hey, can you just have the kids an extra two days? I know I'm never gonna be able to just leave my home for three days and not come home to a ton of chores that just piled up that I need to do. I know that I'm never gonna be able to just pick up and go on a girl's trip 
without having to pay, you know, six, eight hundred dollars to board my dogs for three or four days. So, and, and of course, I like, I leave, and even then, I'm still worried because I'm like, has Wesley his medicine? Did he have his insulin? Is he, you know, is, is, are his glucose levels okay? Is anyone observing that he is, you know, drinking way too much water and has been peeing a lot? Like, is anyone noticing these things? It was just one of those mornings where I was like, man, I'm so salty right now. But the good thing is that we have the house to ourselves for uh, 48 hours because the boys and the girls come back on Sunday and then Parker won't be back until like Sunday night. So um, I felt excited, but at the same time I was kind of sad because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm excited. I get the house to myself. I can do whatever I want. But then the realization, like the reality sets in where you're like, do you though? Because even if I have the house to myself and I don't have any humans to take care of, I still have four dogs that wake me up at 5.30 or 6 in the morning every day, regardless of the day. You know, I still have groceries that I have to go pick up and buy because all the kids will come back on Sunday and I have to make Parker's lunches and I have to pack their lunches and I have to make them dinner and they're always hungry, you know? And then, oh, and I have to wash uniforms because back to school on Monday and he needs his uniforms and it's just like, even if I were to force myself to take two days to relax, I couldn't because my work would pile up anyway. <laughs> so I guess the only thing that I'm looking forward to this weekend is A, I don't have to ask anybody what they want to eat. I get to decide that completely on my own. And then B, um, I can watch the Walking Dead marathon without Parker and I can just get ahead because he's out of town and there's no way in heck I'm waiting three days to watch it with him. <laughs> The good thing is he's already seen it, so he's like, he kind of remembers little bits and pieces here and there. Um, so I thought this weekend, um, I'm going to do a couple of things for myself. Like I'm going to force myself to do a couple of things for myself. But other than that, I mean, it's business as usual. I know you guys are staring at the salsa stand on my tank top. You're welcome. I was going to change for the vlog, but I was like, no, this is literally going to be me on the vlog for 48 hours. I probably won't shower. Just FYI, I'm actually having a good hair day today. I showered last night and when I woke up this morning, it looks like my hair is kind of styled, doesn't it? Thank you. I know, I agree too. <laughs> I strategically ordered my HelloFresh to arrive yesterday so that I could have it this weekend so that if I don't want to shower, I don't want to go out to buy food, I don't want to go grocery shopping, I literally am a hermit for 48 hours, there is some nourishment in this home. And the other thing is, I changed my order I changed my order for two people and calorie smart. <laughs> so normally I order the family for four. So if you guys are HelloFresh users, you're totally familiar with it where you have calorie smart, you have um, veggie, you have family, which they're like more family friendly meals like pasta dishes and stuff like that. I usually order family and I usually order for four. So this time I was like, <laughs> Nobody's gonna be home. I'm gonna order for two and I'm gonna order Calorie Smart and hopefully that couscous dish is up on the menu for this week and it was, so whew, thank goodness. So at some point this weekend, you guys will get to cook with me and watch me eat probably. Um, but that's the update. The other update, you guys, oh my God, I'm so excited. God is so good. Y'all, here I'm complaining about my mental load. If you guys don't watch the new the new series with Fran Drescher, the nanny, you know, the with the voice, she has this new sitcom um, on some local TV channel. I don't remember if it's ABC or CBS, but um, last week's episode was about mental load and it could not have been the most epic, perfect timing ever of life. I'm telling you, God's plan is freaking epic. So I just started this show Parker walks in and sits on the couch and he's like, what are we watching? I was like, oh, it's a new episode from Fran Drescher. And he's like, wow, she looks good for her age. I was like, yeah, she gained weight and she looks amazing. I don't even know how old she is. She's probably 60 and she looks freaking amazing. Anyway, the episode was about mental load and it was hilarious because he started to, he like, he, you could tell it just switched on and he was like focused in and he was like, Wait, what are they talking about? And I was like, the whole point of the episode was, the husband's like, hey, I ran out of shampoo in the shower. That's never happened in the eight years we've been married. And she's like, yeah, that's because I buy it in advance and you never run out. He's like, man, my toothpaste is running low. She's like, again, I haven't had time to go to the store. It's on the list. I'm going to take care of it. And he's like, so you've done it 
for like the last eight years and it just automatically like just happens happens it's just what you do and she's like yeah it's called the mental load it's all the stuff that I do that is my responsibility that just falls on me by default and I just have to take care of it y'all the other day I spent two hours doing things that I came to the realization no one notices like filling q-tip bins replacing baby wipes refilling soap dispensers and that's just stuff that happens and no one notices it's happening but it falls on you to do so if you guys have a chance to look up mental load it is so telling and revealing but if you are highly highly emotional like i am it might be rage inducing <laughs> because things naturally fall on one partner in a relationship like responsibilities so He's like, the, the husband in the show is like, why don't you help me? Let me, help me do it. And she's like, no, because teaching you how to do it is another thing that you're adding to my mental load. Because if I don't teach you the right way to do it, you're going to do it the wrong way. Sure enough, he orders 200 bars of soap that smell like, I don't know, wilderness campfire or something. Like some random um, scent that no one, no one likes. Oh, UPS is here. Hold, please. Hey, you guys. Sorry about that interruption. UPS was here. They delivered my traffic cone. So I'm that neighbor. Um, listen. We have a neighborhood where streets back up butt to butt. So I can, if I go to the back of my house, I see the back of the other streets house so there's the houses are connected by alleys if that makes sense so like when you park into your home you go through the alley and you see just all garages and so where you put your um trash bins and stuff like that so we have our houses are kind of staggered so like the garages don't butt up right up against each other and people um in north dallas are very bad at driving so um they constantly run into your grass and it is one of the most aggravating things to me because first of all, it's not public property. Second of all, it's just good driving. And I think if you've mastered driving for eh, three years, you're pretty good at knowing not to drive into your neighbor's lawn. Um, the first couple of times when Parker's oldest daughter was learning how to drive, she would dip into it she's figured it out you know she's not even 16 yet but she's figured it out so i'm pretty sure that my neighbors in like their 40s and 50s know how to not run into your grass so i'm going to passively aggressively put a giant three foot traffic cone into the giant hole they've created into my lawn <laughs> Hopefully, I'll show you guys during our girls weekend um but that's about as much excitement as we're gonna see this weekend i already top coated my nails that's why they're so shiny do you see that i'm telling you guys glisten and glow top coat if you've never tried it you're missing out completely on life the thing i was holding was um the oil you can see it's almost running out that's my cuticle oil i keep it on my bedside table i go between this one and the uh, castor oil of uh, from briogeo that one though i like to use um at night so if i'm going to go on with my day and i'm just have stuff to do this one's a little more lightweight um it smells good and it can follow me around with whatever i'm doing the other one it's a little bit thicker it feels like an actual treatment you know like you're doing something so i put it on before bed and i just let it hang out Anyway, so I was telling you guys about like mental load and stuff like that. And it's, oh my God, it's such a valid thing. Mental load, mental load. It is so heavy. They're like, I'm sitting here right now and I'm trying to convince you guys that I'm trying to convince myself that I'm forcing myself to relax for 48 hours when I know dang well that time that I'm forcing myself to relax, I'm worried because I'm like, man, instead of painting my nails, I should have been scrubbing a bathtub. Instead of thinking about the mud mask I'm gonna go do right now and show you guys, I should actually be, um, I don't know, decluttering a bookcase or something. So it's that constant, when, when you're the, um, when you're the mental load carrier of the relationship, <sighs> There's a lot of stress and heaviness that you carry around, even if it doesn't look like you're constantly doing something. Like yesterday, I left the house. Yesterday, I left the house at nine o'clock 
and from nine to one, I probably went to like 10 different places with Wesley in tow. We left the house at nine. I went to the UPS store. I went to Target to do an in-store pickup or a drive-up pickup or whatever. Um, then I drove to Kohl's. I made a return of that tie-dye sweatshirt and the panties that didn't fit. Then I took Wesley to his um, Cushing's and Cataract appointment, um, which I'll come back to. Um, and we were there for an hour and a half. And then after that, I went to his other vet to pick up more insulin, syringes, and Ernie's heartworm prevention. After that, we drove to uh, Walmart to do a grocery pickup. Then I got home, it was about 1.30, I had to unload the car, I had to put everything away. Um, I wasn't eating lunch until about two o'clock. That was my first meal of the entire day. And while I'm doing that, while I'm eating, I'm putting stuff away, I'm finishing laundry, I'm you know what I mean? So it's like, even on the days where like Parker came home yesterday early and I was sitting on the bed, I wasn't laying on the bed like this, I was sitting up on the bed and he's like, are you okay? And I was like, I need to stay sitting up because if I lean back, I will fall asleep. The dogs woke up at 5 a.m. yesterday and they wouldn't stop like, like fussing and moaning and crying. They wanted to get out. So I just had to get up early and that's it. You know, I, I guess I am basically like at everyone's disposition. And while I normally like it, I am a two. Like my anagram is a two. So I am a person that loves to do things for others. But there are some days where I wish I could just turn it off and not do anything, but I don't have that luxury. So this weekend, we're gonna focus on trying to do a little bit more things just for myself without worrying or guilting myself about falling behind on other things. So the good news is Wesley had a follow-up yesterday for his Cushing's medication and a glucose check. Um, he is doing absolutely perfectly well. Um, but I told you guys in the previous vlog that just Seemingly overnight, he went completely blind. So I was talking to his vet, it's a specialist, and I said, hey, look, here's my concern. He's gone totally blind. You're telling me his results are relatively healthy now. Is he healthy enough to undergo surgery? And he was like, 100%, absolutely. I'm so glad you said something. A lot of pet parents, when their dog gets older, they think he's older and he'll be fine and he can manage. He's like, but he is relatively healthy, aside from the, his, his controlled diabetes, diabetes, um, controlled Cushing's, he's healthy, he is vivacious, he's tenacious, he is happy, he is a perfect candidate for this. So if you are willing to do that, he seemed like almost like he was proud of me, <laughs> so it was great. So I called this morning, I was like, y'all need to get us in next available. So we have a cataract evaluation next Thursday at 10.30 and I'm so excited for him. I'm so, so, so excited. I wanna get this done. I want to be able to give my chunky monkey the best quality of life. I don't care how many years he has left. I don't, I don't, it's not something I wanna worry about right now. All I wanna worry about is today and tomorrow and can I give this baby boy, um, you know, something to look forward to. Could you imagine going blind and then getting your vision back? Oh, it's gonna be like the best day of his life ever, 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 ever. So anyway, um, right now I need to do um, some cuticle oil on my cuticles and then, and then I was thinking about trying this mask. I haven't tried it before. It's brand new to me, but it's a mud mask. Y'all, I'm on the new birth control. I've been on it for about two weeks now. And I don't know if you've noticed my vlogs, but broken out, broken out, broken out. It's, I think I'm gonna just end up paying the $136 for the low, low Western fee. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I can't deal with this. Like, I'm not used to this, I don't like it. I know I'm gonna start trying to compensate with products and things like that when I know dang well what it is. So, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna give it another two weeks to try and if, cause it's only gotten worse. It just started as a couple little dots and then it moved to my chin and now it's actually on my nose too. So I'm gonna give it two more weeks and if it progresses or it gets worse, then I'm definitely stopping this medicine or birth control and going back to the other one, even if I have to pay out of pocket. I'm sorry, can't do it. Can't do it guys, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, so I'm gonna use, don't mind the dirtiness. This is like the best mask spatula I've ever used. It's from e.l.f. It has rubber or silicone on one side and then it has this little brushy thing on the other. Um, but I'm gonna apply this, leave it on, wash it off, and then let you know if I liked it or not. I really miss the philosophy um, pour 
Philosophy Purity Poor Poor Something. It's like a white clay mask. Oh my gosh, y'all, if you have issues with breakouts, that thing like <laughs> dries out your face in the best way possible. Not like actually dries it out, but like dries out the baddies. Um, I miss it. Going, going cruelty free has been a big adjustment. I haven't regretted it once, but it's definitely a learning curve. So right now we're gonna sacrifice my face to this 15 minute facial. <laughs> just washed that mask off my face. My skin feels really nice. I'm very impressed. It feels like um, that purity mask I was telling you guys about, um, but not as harsh. It feels like it did something, but my face doesn't feel super dried out or stiff or anything. I really like that, but the reason for me coming on right now is to uh, show you guys something. I know you guys think I was kidding. Well, those of you that really know me know I wasn't kidding. Those of you that know me kind of a little bit, sort of, you know how I have very inappropriate humor and sometimes I'm sarcastic or facetious and I say things that I don't really mean it just for comedic appeal. However, on this occasion, mama meant it. I just got this giant box delivered from Amazon um, and this is my traffic cone. So let's proceed. Let's proceed with my neighborly passive aggressiveness. You ready for this? Look how big this cone is. It's kind of exciting. And I like how bottom heavy it is because Texas, oh my gosh, you guys, Texas wind is crazy. We're doing it. We're doing it, y'all. The evidence of a Harley that was once here. So let me show you guys how absolutely rude and disgusting my neighbors are. Look at this. It's just over and over and over and over. And you can just tell it's a pattern of behavior because it actually goes down there over there as well. Um, it's not okay. It's not okay. There used to be a sprinkler head there. There isn't any more because they broke it. So now I'm going to put this right there. All right. There it is. They want to run into my yard, then they'll run into my cone. <laughs> um, is that ridiculous? I think it's a little ridiculous. But the good thing is too, no one can steal it because we have a surveillance system. So if they do try to steal it, it's on the camera. How pretty is this color? Look at that. So pretty. All right, let's go inside. It's too cold to be this passive aggressive on a Friday, you guys. <laughs> Bubble. Oh my goodness. Come here. Oh my goodness. Hi, minis. Where are all my minis? Hey, move. Your brother can't see, man. What's the matter? Oh, yeah? Did you want to help me put the cone out? And you're so mad? Are you so mad? Did you want to put the cone? Look at those stretches. You wanted to put the cone, didn't you? Hey, Bunker. Where's my fatty boy? Be careful. Be careful. You got to slow down, man. You got to slow down. I want to hurt yourself. You don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to hurt yourself. There you are. Did mama scare you? Oh, you're so sassy this morning. Oh, you're so sassy. Are you so sassy? Who's sassy? You guys want to go potty? Go potty, come on. Wesley, come on. Let's go potty, Wesley. Wesley, mama's over here. Come here, bud. Come on, Wesley. Oof, that was a tight corner, sir. Come on, bud. Come on, go. Let's see, go potty. You know where you're going? Slow down, slow down. Come on, this way. You know where you're going, come on, come on. I have to say, you guys, I really like this mask and I kind of like the way my skin smells. All right, here's better lighting. You see that? Look how awful my skin is right now. You see all the redness? It's like a bunch of 
breakouts. Anyway, let me show you guys one more time so you know which one it is. So here's the mask I used. It's the Glow Mud Mask. I guess it is a 15 minute facial. Really cool. And Pixie is um, cruelty free. A ton of their products are vegan, if not most. Um, and you can find it at Target. You guys like my Amazon pants? Look at that. Oh snap, look at my Amazon pants. Hello lady. Hello Bunky. Be careful Wesley. Follow mama. It's a good boy. He's like memorized the house. He knows exactly where everything is. He'll occasionally run into corners of things, but he's pretty good at adjusting. And right now, I'm gonna go in with this and um, my quartz roller, which is in my nightstand. So I'm gonna apply a very thick layer of this guy, and then I'm gonna not use this Fitbit holder. <laughs> I'm gonna massage it in using this quartz roller from Sephora. <laughs> I told you guys, I wasn't kidding when I said I put on a thick layer of this stuff. I took the headband out of my hair because it makes that crease. Thin people, thin hair people problems. So I'm just gonna do this with my face for as long as I can stand it. The roller gets hot pretty quickly and then I stop doing it because it feels kind of weird. So as long as the roller is cold, I'll do this. When I'm done, I just take my hands and I rub it in, rub in the mask. Um, at some point I'll probably get hungry. But for now, I'm just gonna keep watching The Walking Dead for a couple hours before I get hungry. And then we'll have to figure out what we're gonna eat. I don't know if I wanna do HelloFresh for lunch or dinner. Well, it's kind of lunchtime now. Probably an early dinner. I'm probably gonna go to bed early today, you guys. This is gonna be my exciting life. This is gonna be my exciting no kid life. I know I'm gonna sit here for like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna get up. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, I need to declutter the bathroom. Oh, I need to restock the toilet paper. And then I'm gonna sit down and watch 20 more minutes and then I'm gonna be like, oh man, did I unload the dishwasher? <laughs> Hashtag mommy thug life. Are you this person where you are trying to relax but you just aren't physically capable or chemically wired to do so? That's me, that's me. I'm the girl that wants to talk through a massage. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a nap. Doesn't that sound nice? Do any of you guys get a headache if you take a nap? That's me. I have a very short window of time where I could take a nap. And if I miss that window, or if I go past the window, oh no, there's a mask in my hair, then I wake up with a horrible headache. It doesn't go away either. What's happening? What's going on? Where's that hair? Well, my hair's gonna be nice and soothed. So I'm gonna keep rolling my face, you guys. And if anything interesting happens, if I have any more uh, passive aggressive tactics that I can do in my driveway, I'll be the first one to hop on here and share it with you guys so we can enjoy it together. <laughs> one, hey you guys, it's 1.30. So, I don't know if you guys thought you were gonna, you know, see me showered or feeling adventurous and ready to go out. Um, that is not the case. Um, I can confirm that. And remember I told you guys I was gonna force myself to relax, like self-care, masking and stuff. So, um, you okay? Convulsing over there? <laughs> I bubble. Um, so I'm just sitting here minding my own business, doing some laundry. I have forgot I had to do the dog's laundry, you know, like diapers and stuff like that. I can't let that go for too long because pee, smell, diapers, you know. If you ever cloth diapered, you know the drill. So I've been doing that. And then I was like, well, I'm already thinking about dog pee, so I might as well go do dog poop duty. So I went outside and I did that for a little bit. Come back inside and I hear a loud crash. I think I've just gotten to the point where I understand that when I get good news, I need a brace for bad news. <laughs> they're, they're hand in hand. They go, they happen hand in hand. We can't just have like a nice, speedy, smoothie, smoothie, smooth day. That's just, this is not the way things work around here. My sink broke. Like, <laughs> how does your sink detach? Just randomly in the middle of the day when your handy fiance is not home, your sink detaches from the counter. Yeah. So I decided to handle it the way I handle most of my problems and that's by eating. <laughs> in case there were any doubts in your mind that my sink detached, 
This is my sink detached. Here is a uh, part of the detachment. And um, this is this is this is what's going on right now. Probably because I haven't cleaned it or washed it. See all the toothpaste? It was it was being passive aggressive. It was like, oh you get to be passive aggressive with the cone? Boom! I'm about to detach. So until Parker comes back, I think I'm just gonna have to use this one because if you open it, I think I need to just fix this by myself, but it's so heavy, you know? All right, Marin, you gonna help me? You help mama? All right, go get your tools. Go get your tools. So here's the thing. The scary part is um, because it sank, all the pressure is on, bless you, all the pressure is on here. So I don't need that breaking in the next two days. Oh crap, my boom boom cream. So I'm worried that the pressure, do you see how the, it's holding on to? <laughs> Thank you container store for supporting, you see right here, it's supporting the weight of the sink. But if this gives out, all this, this will break off the wall. So I'm wondering if I should just detach it myself and have it detached just so it doesn't cause further damage, you know? And what's the theme of this vlog? Mental load. Now that's part of my mental load. So um, I am gonna eat lunch and then I'm probably gonna detach my sink because I can't have a plumbing issue too. I mean, I can have a cosmetic basic contractor issue, but a plumbing issue, that's a lot bigger than that. So you guys, I just wanted to update you because that's how exciting my life has gotten. And uh, I'm wearing my FabFitFun house cardigan situation. I wish you could decide which days went by faster and which ones went by slower. I honestly thought today was gonna fly by, but it's only 1.30. Isn't that crazy? Why are my dogs so noisy? Do you hear all those sounds they're making? I'm like, man, I wonder if you guys realize they are in fact dog sounds. <laughs> hey you guys, look how fabulous my hair looks. I'm totally out of breath. Um, <laughs> It's almost 3.30, um, I was on the phone and I was removing a sink all at the same time. Cause that's how you multitask. I have lived with myself for 35 years. I'm very well aware of how little upper body strength I have. So I have all these little hacks and tricks that I do um, when I need to fix things by myself because I know my limitations. And I was so worried that the sink was gonna be so heavy it was gonna rip the plumbing out of the wall. Y'all, the sink isn't even that heavy. But I did realize that we may have had shoddy construction when um, they built this house. So the sink collapse falls out and I'm like, well, what the heck was holding it in? Cause it seems like the plumbing was all that kept it erect, right? And I look and it seems as though either the counter wasn't cut to the right type of sink or the sink itself was too small for the counter hole that they cut out. So let me show you. Here's my sink, and do you see the cardboard? Like, what the heck kind of work is this? They glued pieces of cardboard around the rim of the sink to get it to fill the gap. What the explicit word here is this? You know what I mean? I got all my boot boxes out because I thought I needed to build sort of like a shelf so the sink wouldn't fall. That was totally worthless, pointless, absolutely did nothing. But now we don't have a sink. Parker's gonna be like, God, I leave for 24 hours and look at what happened. <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if Parker knows how to fix stuff like this. If he does or doesn't, I mean, is it really a big deal? We have so many other sinks in this house. <laughs> we'll survive. But um, yeah, that's the current state of my life. Some exciting Friday. Look at this. I mean, I knew I was gonna talk to you guys today, so I'm really just, I'm trying to, putting my best face forward for you guys. <laughs> hey you guys! Do you like my hairstyle? It's a little bit before 12.30. I was just unloading the dryer, minding my own business, and then I realized, oh, you're vlogging this weekend. You totally forgot. So my morning's been kind of uneventful. We've done really exciting things like hang up our Easter wreaths. Look, it looks like she's having a conversation with Peter. <laughs> Uh, we hung up our Easter wreaths. Um, I changed bedding. I changed the sheets on my bed. Um, and I'm wearing this awesome tie-dye sweatshirt. 
So, um, yeah, it's been kind of slow. I am kind of tempted to go out because it's a really beautiful day, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't really need to. Just hang tight here. Have a little hello fresh in a couple of minutes, hours. I don't know, whenever I decide to get hungry. Um, so yesterday Parker calls me, he's like, hey, we just got here, we're all settled in, everything is fine. I'm calling because I saw your Instagram post, is everything okay? And I was like, no, everything's not okay! <laughs> he's like, why didn't you tell me about the sink? I'm like, because you're on your little man vacation. <laughs> that I'm jealous I don't get to take. Um, anyway, so I explained the whole thing. Like, I'm like, listen, you entered into this relationship with me knowing that you are gonna have the responsibility of being my best friend as well. And that means that you're gonna have to be able to put yourself in my shoes and compartmentalize the things that I'm telling you as a friend, as a partner, or as a husband. Um, so what I'm telling you is because you keep insisting on asking what's wrong with me and what's wrong with me is I'm jealous. So I'm not trying to sabotage your vacation. I'm not trying to ruin your man trip. Like have fun, do what you gotta do. You're already there, take advantage. I'm just upset at myself because that's never gonna be me. Like that will never happen for me um, and it's fine. I just want to sulk in it for a little bit and I'm going to stay home and, you know, not get behind on my house chores and work and stuff like that. And I'm going to force myself to relax a little bit. I'm going to force myself um, to do stuff that's just for me, like a mask, which I don't really see much reward in that. <laughs> Is it really relaxing though? You put a mask on, it dries to your face, which is not comfortable, then you soil a towel to remove it, and you make a mess in the sink. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why my sink broke. So I told him, I was like, yeah, I was gonna call you and tell you, hey, my sink collapsed, by the way, to ruin your vacation, but now that you're stalking my Instagram, even though you're supposed to be on vacation, then I guess I'll tell you, I'm jealous of your freedom. <laughs> So anyway, he's like, well, man, that kind of ruins my surprise. Um, I had a surprise uh, in my closet waiting for you for tomorrow, meaning today. So he's like, go open my uh, closet. So I open the closet and there's a little creature in there. Sophia, do you want to introduce everyone to Peter? You want to say hi to Peter? Tell everyone. Hey, oh, you know what we can do now? Is we can say, hey, Sophia, do you want to say hi to Karen? Hey, Peter, do you want to say hi to Karen? Do you like Peter? Isn't he handsome? Look, he's wearing a little denim jacket. How cute is that? There's um, a bunny, a big giant bunny at the mall in like the window of a store. And every time I walk by, I'm like, oh my God, I want it. But it's not for sale, huh, Sophia? We already asked. Right, Sophie? Did we ask? Did we ask? So last weekend I was actually asking Parker, I'm like, hey, do you think it's too early to put up um, Easter decorations? He said, yes, you have to wait until at least March. And I was like, well, that's next weekend. So there's Peter. I still haven't decided where to put him. I wanna put him somewhere I could see him like all the time. Maybe I'll put him right here in the entrance. Or maybe I'll just leave him right there on the stairs. I think he looks kinda of cute, you know, just joining the crew, just joining the pack, the panda pack. Um, anyway, so there's literally zero plans for today. Zero. Should we go to Hobby Lobby and get Easter decorations to match my tie-dye sweatshirt? What do you think? This tie-dye sweatshirt, you guys, was on clearance for $15 at uh, Kohl's, so you could probably still get your hands on it. It's size juniors. This is a size small. So I'm typically a size six in women's, um, and this is a small. If you actually go up a size, like I kind of regret not going up a size because I could have worn it like this, like a big slouchy sweatshirt. It's pretty long, um, but this is a small. This is my compression tank. <laughs> anyway, I wish I had a more exciting update for you guys, but I told you at the beginning of this vlog, this is gonna be a really weird vlog. It's gonna be like Danny circa 2017, where every weekend was like, I wonder what we're gonna do today. Should we eat leftovers for three days in a row? Maybe. <laughs> so that's all I got. Anyway, when something exciting happens, like if I get another traffic cone to put in my backyard, I'll check in with you guys, okay? I love you. Hey, you guys, almost 2.30. I promised I was gonna check in with you guys if there was anything eventful happening. So here's the scoop. 
brace yourselves because it's about to get really exciting with all this news I'm about to share with you. The most important news is that I'm hungry. <laughs> the second part of the news is I forgot I have an Amazon delivery coming today. Um, and it may or may not have some cute bunnies in it. So hang tight for um, some bunnies in an Amazon delivery. Um, and then what's the other exciting thing I have? I've been taking this relaxing thing very seriously today and it's kind of making me itchy. I don't think I am, um, I don't think my brain is designed or chemically balanced to be able to allow me to sit comfortably for more than like 25 minutes. <laughs> Anyway, um, so here's the scoop. We are about to cook together, and I wanted to show you guys the three recipes that I got for the purposes of this Danny weekend. Um, I kind of tweaked my uh, menu picks based on me, and if something were to have happened, or Parker cancels his trip, or he changed the date or something, the meals were suitable for both of us. So I told you guys that I picked the calorie smart option for two people. Usually we pick the family menu for four. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the um, recipes that I picked. So this is the one we're gonna be doing today and this is actually a veggie option. It's the chickpea Mediterranean couscous. Look how delicious that is. Um, I love to eat colorful food. I've told you guys that before. Um, so that's what we're going to be making today. Super easy. It's just kind of like a quick stovetop, quick sheet pan roasting. Um, the other two options were I wanted to pick something fun and then I wanted to pick something where uh, Parker could take to work if I kind of got a little lazy tomorrow and didn't want to make his lunches. So this is the chicken pineapple quesadilla um, and you make a pico um, kind of side dish to go with it. And that's the back. And then this is the one that um, if something were to have happened or um, I didn't want to cook tomorrow, we would have a backup. Hey, Jingle Bell, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you interrupting my HelloFresh with that Jingle Bell? So if something came up or I didn't have time or desire to cook tomorrow, um, this could be a really good lunch um, for Parker since he does like a high protein, high veggie um, lunch for work. So there's that. You can see how easy it is. It's always like sheet pan or quick stove top. Nothing that takes too long. I mean from start to finish all of the recipes that I've ever done are 30 minutes at the most. Hi sir. What are you doing? Are you here because you know mama's gonna cook? Are you gonna help me cook? Hey do you want some of the couscous? Here's some garbanzo beans. You love garbanzo beans. Are you gonna help mama cook? Yes, you are. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. You're the sweetest boy in the whole world. All right, but before we get into it, you know I'm gonna hit you with all that HelloFresh talk. A, there's a reason they're the number one meal prep kit in America, you guys. There is a reason. There's so many out there, and I may or may not have tried a couple. <laughs> you guys know I love to do my own research and I like to be sure about things, and HelloFresh has been in my life for like three years already. So there's that. The other option is like, hey, today, you know what? I didn't want to cook for myself. I knew I was gonna be alone. I knew I could change up my options really easy. And that's another thing. You can make it accommodate your family's needs. Listen, one week you're gonna have um, your kids or kids are on spring break or it's the holidays and you wanna skip a month or you wanna skip a week or you wanna add meals because the kids are gonna be home. Like for me, um, our kids are gonna be on separate spring breaks. So there's gonna be one week when all of the girls are home and there's gonna be a week when all the boys are home. Luckily, they're not gonna tag team on us and then we have to make like double the amount of meals. So you kind of look at that and you plan ahead and you're able to adjust the menu and your selections based on your family's needs. And speaking about children, how many of you guys have picky eaters? Y'all, that will be the bane of my existence. The cool thing about um, the HelloFresh menu or options is there's at least 22 chef curated recipes um, that are all delicious. I can honestly tell you guys I have not tried a single recipe that I don't like. I love the majority of them, 
the majority of them I've loved or I've thought to myself, dang, why didn't I think about putting A ingredient with B ingredient or why didn't I think about that spice blend? Super, super unique combinations, awesome menus. It forces your family to try new things. Um, and it's just really cool to be able to have something on the table from start to finish in about 30 minutes, you guys. Um, I love when I get Hello Fresh when my boys are home because you guys have seen them on my Instagram. They have their little chef hats, they have their little kids' knives. Let me show you guys. I get a lot of questions on their little. Oh my god! I almost dropped it! It's a real knife, you guys! Be afraid of the knife! Um, I'm left-handed and I'm holding the camera, so this is my right hand. It is my non-dominant hand. So I get a lot of questions about the tools that I let my children use. They are children tools, but they are real kitchen tools. So it's cool to be able to have HelloFresh, have those family-friendly recipes, and have them in front of them where they have that visual guide and stimulation where they're like, okay, I have to cut the potatoes like this. I have to put them on the sheet pan like this. All right, mom, now what's next? Or I'm like, okay, look at the tool list. What do we need to take out? And they help me prep and they have all the mise en place in place. It's really awesome. So we're about to get started, but if you guys have been on the fence, just waiting for me to just shove you over the edge on pulling the trigger on HelloFresh, if you guys go to hellofresh.com and use the code COFFEEBREAK10, you're gonna get 10 meals for free, including shipping. You're welcome. So if you just needed a little coercion, you don't need to thank me, but you do need to stick around so you can help me make this together. You guys know why I'm like secretly really excited about this? I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I think I have, but I was a vegetarian for almost five years and I still really enjoy vegetarian meals, but no one else does. <laughs> So Parker and his daughters are like super heavy meat eaters. They love meat. I mean pork chop steak, chicken, like they need need meat in their um all of their meals. However, my boys are very big on fruit and carbs. <laughs> so it's a it's kind of like a no-win situation. I can't be like, all right, everyone, today it's gonna be Meatless Monday, because they're gonna be like, no, it's not. So today, that I'm all by myself, we're gonna make a vegetarian dish. So thank you, HelloFresh, for doing a vegetarian-friendly menu. I love you. <laughs> all right, so let's keep it easy. Here are my three little meals. Um, here is the chickpea-powered Mediterranean couscous that we're gonna do. This is the, um, I, you guys, I'm leaning towards, this is probably what's gonna be Parker's lunch on Monday. <laughs> then this is the quesadilla bag. So I think tomorrow when the kids come back, they're probably gonna really enjoy that. So we won't need any of the protein that came with the HelloFresh for this delivery. Are you ready to help your mama? Are you ready to help? Come on, let's go.
taste test time. Garbanzo beans are one of my favorite things on this planet. Sorry about the mouthful. Mmm. As I was making this recipe, it really took me 20 minutes. Like the, the longest part was the 20 minutes that I had to wait to roast the vegetables and chickpeas in the oven. I found it offensive. <laughs> the couscous is always done. Couscous, if you're unfamiliar, it's basically like a tiny little round pasta. And as I was cooking and waiting, I did two things. One I'm not proud of. The other thing is I had a eureka moment. So this is a hot meal, um, but if you happen to have leftovers, it would be amazing cold because it turns into a garbanzo and pasta salad. So it is one of those meals that you can have hot, cold, room temperature, whatever. So if you have leftovers, cross your fingers you have leftovers so that you could take it to work the next day. The other thing I did while I was waiting for those 20 minutes is I may or may not have scheduled a cookie delivery. I was like, look, if I'm gonna be committed to this Walking Dead marathon that I'm having, I'm gonna need warm cookies to be delivered to my door, so that's what's gonna happen at around five o'clock today. It's currently three o'clock. What kind of dinner is this? Are you guys like me where the older you get, the earlier you eat dinner? That's totally me. And I've done it with all four of the kids. <laughs> And I'm proud of it. <laughs> anyway, this is absolutely delicious, fabulous. Mm. I need to stop eating with very good. When you make the right meals, trust me, you don't miss the meat. This is one of those dishes that is absolutely super hearty, super filling. I love anything with beans. Um, if you guys were on the fence to try HelloFresh, don't forget that I do have a promo for you guys. 10 free meals and free shipping if you go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code COFFEEBREAK10. I really hope you guys will check it out. It's very customizable, keep that in mind. I know a lot of times with like subscription services, memberships, things like that, you're kind of pigeonholed into one deal, one style, one thing, you don't get to pick. There's a lot of limitations. With HelloFresh, it's kind of build your own, build your own plan, change, skip, alternate, change menus, pick things, have your kids pick, have your kids cook. There's so many ways that you guys can take advantage of this meal kit delivery service, I know. I have explored all the options and um, I have to say it's very hard for me not to pull the trigger on adding cookie dough or garlic bread to my family's meal deliveries. But anyway, I'm starving. I'm going to go eat this and watch more Walking Dead and cuddle my dogs a little bit longer, see if they'll want some garbanzo beans and I'll check in later. Bye! Ladies and gentlemen, 4pm, we interrupt this, uh, the Walking Dead marathon that's kind of boring right now to show you a very delicious cookie delivery that I did for myself. Thanks to technology and cars, we can have warm cookies delivered to your doorstep. Do you wanna see what I got for myself? You know what, look, they were having a leap year sale. It was like a promo code that alerts up on your phone and it's like, hey, we're having a leap year promo. Do you wanna take advantage? And I was like, look, I can have two dozen cookies delivered to my door. It will uh, cheer me up and allow me to eat my feelings in the form of calories. And then all the leftover cookies can be enjoyed tomorrow buy all four of the kits. So they come in this really cool box. The bow is not that cool. Um, when you open it, the inside is lined with like shininess and that supposedly keeps it warm. And I got four flavors. So we should have six peanut butter, six M&M. Those are for the boys because apparently colors taste better. <laughs> then at the very bottom, I think those are pecan and chocolate chip, but I'm missing a layer, which are the ones I got for myself and I don't plan on sharing. Bum, bum, bum. These are white chocolate and almond slices. Oh my God. It's like sugar cookie grew up and got a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you did. What did you do? Did you commit this crime? Did you commit this crime? You shoved him down the stairs? You know, that is against, the, you. No, hey, you're hurting him. You are, you're hurting him. Sophia, Sophia, did you do this? Why did you push him down the stairs? Oh, naughty girl, stop, mama. Hey, Sophia. Uh-oh, face off, face off. What'd you do to Peter Rabbit? 
Hey, what did you do to Peter Rabbit? Why'd you push him down the stairs? Why? Did you push... Why? <laughs> you got a lot to say, huh? Why'd you push him down the stairs? Sophia. Sophia. Why did you push Peter Rabbit down the stairs? He did. What else did he do? What else did he do? What did Peter Rabbit do? Sophia? Sophia. Oh. <laughs> hey, are you, are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna be okay though? I think so. Do you think you're gonna be okay? Is he offensive? He's cute. He's cute. No, let him stand up here. Look, see, he's cute and friendly. Can you have him? We're not having it, huh? Today's not our day. Hey, do you want to go for a walk? Just the mommy? Just you and me? Yeah? Okay, we can do that. We can do that. It's a sweet girl. Yeah, I'm going to reward your homicidal tendencies. <laughs> I'm gonna reward your homicidal tendencies because you're so cute. Because you're so cute. We just can't tell Parker that you you tried to kill Peter, okay? It's not okay. It's not okay. But you know what? I bet Karen's never gonna make fun of you ever again, knowing what you're capable of. Mm hmm. You show her. <laughs> you show her. You show her, baby girl. <laughs> Do you see her face? Does this look like a face of, of remorse? Nope. <laughs> Like that square, you see little her little canine tooth hanging out. Like she's smirking. Are you smirking? You are smirking, aren't you? Yeah, cold blooded. You so cold blooded, <laughs> Toffee. Oh, bless you. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, you wanna go outside? Oh, you wanna go outside? Let's go outside. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! ¿Eh? ¿Qué tienes? ¿Qué quiere, mamita? ¡Mande! ¿Qué quieres? ¿Estás enojada? ¿Eh? ¿Qué tienes? Sofía. Sofía. What's the matter? What's wrong? Do you want some fruit? Do you want an apple? Do you want apple? 
this. This is why. She, this is why she did. Is he broken? She did her Peter. Oh, poor Peter. Poor Peter's foot. Oh. Sophia! Peter. Naughty girl! Did you do it? Look at her face. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you did do it. I know you did. Hey you guys, happy Sunday. It's about six o'clock. I hope you guys have been enjoying those little tidbits of exciting stuff that has been going on today. The boys got back this morning. Parker got back around lunchtime and the girls got back right after that. So it's just been nonstop catching up with chores. And um, one of my sons had a Cub Scout meeting, which never actually happened. So we just hung out at the park for a little bit. We drove our fire truck around. I mean, we made a taco truck today, taco tank. Taco tank? What do we call it, taco tank, right? Taco tank. So it was supposed to be like this hardcore, aggressive, like manly. <laughs> Manly like tank. So it ended up being a taco tank, which made it actually one of the proudest moments of, of me as a mom. <laughs> I'm like, he is my son. All right, you guys, so that is it for this weekend vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. So it was a lot of, um, not much. <laughs> Food deliveries, cooking, uh, fun with the kids, and uh, chores around the house. It was kind of nice to have the house to myself for a bit. That hasn't happened in almost two years, so it was kind of nice. So, all of the stuff you saw in this vlog, all the stuff I was wearing, all the places we were going, all that loud crunching that you hear right now, <laughs> will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. It's actually dinner time. I'm sitting with the boys right now and they're eating. <laughs> um, so uh, don't forget that if you guys were interested in checking out HelloFresh, we do have a promo for you guys. So if you guys go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code COFFEEBREAK10, you will get 10 meals for free uh, and free shipping. It's kind of a great deal. I mean, there's a reason why we've been subscribers for so, so long. Do you like HelloFresh? Uh-huh. <laughs> they can't hear you. Do you like HelloFresh? <laughs> he goes, uh-huh. <laughs> so I'll leave all those details in the description box below. But other than that, uh, that's it. I am going to go receive my Mother of the Year award for giving my kids roll tacos and Tostino's pizza rolls, apple and oranges for dinner on a Sunday. Um, so I gotta go get ready for this, this award. Um, but other than that, I love you guys so much. And you know what to do? If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, this is why I don't vlog when the kids are here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mommy fog life. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys! Say bye guys!